hello magical hands welcome back to another sewing video in today's video i will show you guys how i customize my very own mesh top feel free to call this video a diy because the steps are easy to follow so if it's our first time here thank you for joining this family and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back if you turn out to like the video don't forget to give us a thumbs up and then let's get into the video starting this project i'll be needing my fabric of course and i'll be needing an old crop top which i love to fit so the aim is to duplicate what we already have from that crop top i'll first cut the back piece of the top i'll fold the old crop top making sure that the back is actually the face up and then the front is inside i'm okay with the length of the top so now i'm going to raise up the armhole and then i tried using my chalk to chalk down the arm point but then i noticed my chalk wasn't going to show so i'm going to go ahead and cut directly now i'm going to fold in the collar of this i'm just cutting only the bodies of this so do well to do the same thing to yours as well so i went took my time and i cut it out leaving at least half an inch for sewing allowance moving over to cutting the front piece i'm going to fold the top and i will make sure that the front piece is in is in front why the back piece is the one inside now like i said earlier i am okay with the length and then you can notice that the neckline of the front is deeper than the neckline of the back which is why you have to fold in the collar and make sure you are cutting only the bodies or duplicating only the bodies of the crop top i'll do same thing i'll raise the arms up so i can be able to trace out only the body now i'm back to the neckline i'm going to fold in the neckline as well as the collar on the front piece so now i'm going to get that deep neckline properly so you take your time and cut this out make sure to add at least like half an inch for sewing allowance now i have cut out my front and back piece next thing for me to cut will be the arms which i will still be duplicating from the crop top with the excess fabric left i wish this was more so i could have gotten longer sleeves but this was all we had so we had to literally duplicate the whole top now i folded the leftover of the fabric into four so by the time i cut out my sleeve i will get two of my sleeves at once so fold your fabric into four now on the folded side i place the folded side of the sleeve of the top on it look at how i placed it now I'll take my time to cut up now i'm going to flip the top the body of the top over and then i'm going to trace the armhole line i added allowance for him and i also added half an inch for attaching the armhole to the arm sleeve to the body of the dress or the top now i placed everything on each other and i noticed the back piece was wider than this i knew why this happened it was because at the center back i left uh, half an inch while i was cutting it which i noticed but i just ignored so now i'm going to trim from the sides and make sure that the front piece and the back piece are equal because it has to be equal now that i'm done sewing the sides and the shoulders i'm going to hem in the lower bodies of the top so we can have clean finishing so just take your time and hem this and then one tip to sewing a mesh top or probably other stretchy fabrics like this is when you are sewing with a manual machine because with a manual machine you can't select the type of stitch you want so when you are sewing make sure to pull the fabric so that when they are done sewing this shirt is not tight it's not just stiff such that when you are pulling wearing it on or pulling it out you will notice that the thread starts tearing so when you are sewing pull the fabric so it can sew according to the stretchiness i hope that makes sense but that is the only way you can sew a mesh top with a manual machine by pulling the fabric so take your time to sew and you will get it done 
now we are done sewing the bodies of the top next thing will be for us to close up the sleeve hem the base and then attach it to the body of the top so once you do that all the rough edges inside you can go ahead and trim it and leave it to be very small or you take it to the weavers for weaving Now for the neckline or the collar, we are going to measure the neckline all round to be sure what we have all round. So by the time I was done measuring mine, I had 22. Now you are going to cut a band that will measure exactly 22 inches without sewing allowance and make sure that your band is going to be very very stretchy now i have my band here exactly 22 inches and also this band was gotten from the waist of an old tight the tight was very torn and i was about to trash it but i'm glad i didn't because it has served a purpose so i'm going to sew it half an inch don't worry about the sewing allowance because the band is stretchy now that i'm done attaching the band together i'm going to fold it back in two so this is the way i'm going to attach it to the top i'm going to make sure that the sewing line matches with one of the shoulder lines so that the sewing line can align together so now i'm going to sew all around and once i'm done sewing all around you can go ahead and probably weave or top stitch when you're done sewing but i took mine to the weavers to weave everything inside so it looks more professional because i do not have a weaving machine yet so guys this is everything about the tutorial if you stayed to this point make sure you subscribe don't forget to share my videos because this has helped you to recommend my videos to other people as well and if you turn out to like the tutorial give us a thumbs up and we'll see you in our next one bye